Before the Ukraine conflict unfolded, numerous developed nations embarked on a green energy drive, boldly advocating for renewable energy sources and turning their backs on fossil fuels. However, a curious turn of events has seen a surge in African countries investing in their oil reserves, with some even making groundbreaking discoveries. Namibia has struck black gold for the third time in its history, this time in the Orange Basin, located 270 kilometers off its coast. The drilling expedition that commenced in December 2022 has finally come to a triumphant end in early March 2023, revealing a bountiful oil reserve. In collaboration with industry giants Shell and Qatar Energy, Namibia made this significant discovery through the Jonker 1X Deepwater Exploration Project. Welcome, this is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. National Petroleum Company of Namibia and its partners have uncovered light oil in the hydrocarbon-rich Orange Basin, located off the coast of Namibia. The drilling expedition, carried out using the cutting-edge off-gel deep-sea bolster semi-submersible rig, reached a total depth of 6,168 meters, submerged in water depths of 2,210 meters. We are delighted to announce this third oil discovery after the success of the Graph 1X and Venus 1X discoveries by Shell and Total Energies in 2022, the managing director of National Petroleum Company of Namibia, Emmanuel Malunga, said in a statement. Amidst the skyrocketing oil explorations across Africa following the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Namibia is one of the few countries on the continent aggressively pursuing its place in the global oil market. Countries such as Uganda and Tanzania have demonstrated immense potential, inspiring Namibia to follow suit and make its mark in the industry. Nigeria is also taking significant strides towards diversifying its oil industry by launching fresh initiatives outside the Niger Delta, particularly in the country's northern region. After numerous delays, Shell is finally set to commence operations on its Bonga North project this year, paving the way for the massive $10 billion Bonga Southwest field in 2024. With a potential capacity of 525 million barrels of crude, the Bonga North project could be instrumental in restoring Nigeria's oil production levels to pre-pandemic times. Uganda is set on expanding its oil industry further with the Lake Albert Development Project, operated by Total Energies, which has received a staggering $10 billion investment to date. The ambitious project includes the development of the Talenga and Kingfisher upstream oil projects and the construction of the much-anticipated 1,500 km East African crude oil pipeline. In addition, Ghana has set its sights on bolstering its domestic oil production, aiming to double its current output by the year's end, from under 200,000 barrels per day to a formidable 420,000 barrels per day. With the recent discovery of significant oil deposits in the Tano Cape Three Points block, foreign investment in the region has increased significantly, with Acre Energy of Norway spearheading operations. The COP27 climate summit in Egypt was a pivotal moment for African governments as they passionately advocated for the development of their fossil fuel resources to alleviate poverty. With the US and Europe distancing themselves from Russian energy, the increased demand for oil and gas presented African leaders with a golden opportunity to promote the exploration of low-carbon oil throughout the continent. African countries are determined to claim their piece of the global energy pie, unwilling to give up valuable natural resources without taking a stake in operations. Moving forward, it will be interesting to see the profits these oil expansions and new explorations will bring to the African continent. Do you think African countries can fully exploit their resources or will the foreign energy companies benefit more? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.